Rocking out on your iPhone, Duke Nukem goes Android and crowdsource your diet with The Eatery today on App Judgment. This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by the 2012 Ford Fiesta. Welcome to App Judgment, your source for mobile application news and reviews. I'm Mauricio Balvanera. And I'm Annie Gauss. And as you can see here, I have a guitar. Yes, you look very natural and comfortable <laughs> with it. I was actually um, a professional guitarist back in, back in the 80s. Were you really? I was, back yeah. Back in the 80s? Yeah, back wow. in the 80s. That's amazing. <laughs> tell me about it. No, don't tell me about it. Uh, this, of course, is because um, uh, GarageBand is now a universal app yes. for the iPad and uh, the, the iPhone, which is pretty cool. Which is pretty cool, and it of course means that if you already own the app on your iPad, for example, you do not have to purchase it again to be able to use it on your iPhone or iPod Touch. Right, that's true. So I, I've been, uh, I plugged it into uh, my iPhone with uh, with the iRig, what is it, uh, Amplitude's iRig, and mm -hmm. uh, playing with the, here, let me see this guy, the Fretlight 400 made by Optech. Um, I've actually been learning how to play a few chords on this guitar, it's kind of cool. Um, but plugs right into the iPhone too, so um, it's pretty pretty nifty. So yeah. pretty good timing on on Apple's part. Yes. With their garage bandedness. All right. Later in the show, I'm going to be reviewing the Eatery for iOS. But first, a quick look at some of the top mobile app releases that you clicked on over at Twitter.com/slash/AppJudgment. Check it out, Duke Nukem. 3D just landed in the Android market. That should be pretty fun for all those Androiders. The new version of Google Plus for Android arrived a few days ago, developed from the ground up and with battery life improvements. That's a good thing for Androiders, I guess. Banjo for both iOS and Android lets you know who's around you based on social network data. I've been playing with this a little bit and it's kind of creepy cool. Creepy cool. Yeah, because cool, you, you, you see people on the map, some people you don't even know, and you're like, oh, you look good, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. That's what everyone should aim for. <laughs> Get Glue for Android has added real-time communication, so make sure you check into App Judgment right now. And SoundCloud is now available on the iPad. Additionally, RunKeeper has some cool new features, including auto-pause, heart rate zones, and more. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We've actually reviewed RunKeeper in the past, along with Nike Plus, and uh, RunKeeper is kind of a personal favorite. Yeah, and an incentive to get out there on the track. Do it. If you're not a runner, right. which I'm not. Send us some of your favorite new apps for both Android and iOS on Twitter, Facebook, and in the comments below. Or email us at appjudgment at revision3.com. Coming up, learn to eat well with the eatery, but first, a word from our sponsor. Our friends at Ford loaned us a 2012 Ford Fiesta to drive around for the fall, and we've been having a ball with it so far. The new Fiesta has a huge interior that you can customize to your liking with nine different seat combinations. You can choose from leather or a bunch of different other cloth combinations and colors. No matter what seating material you pick, it will be green. The seats in the new Fiesta are made from soy material and 25% post-consumer yarns. We're really excited to be working with Ford and have them as a sponsor this week, so thanks to Ford and the 2012 Ford Fiesta. Calorie counting is stupid. No one wants to do it, and if you start, you're not going to last very long, and it just sucks all the fun and soul out of the pleasure of eating. Even with the plethora of calorie counting apps out there, it wasn't until today that an app struck me as completely genius. The Eatery. The Eatery for iOS has one simple trick. It doesn't count calories. It just shows you and your friends pictures of your food. Now, hold on, before you run away screaming, shun, shun the food photography hipster, shun. Hear me out. The Eatery is made up of a community of people who rate the relative healthiness of other people's food. They're crowdsourcing judgment of your food. So the app ends up being sort of a public journal of everything you eat, which tends to kind of curb your bad eating decisions on its own. And the process is simple. Snap a photo of your food. You can pick a list of local restaurants to geotag, adjust your portions, give the photo a title, then drag your photo onto the fit or fat bar. Now essentially this is an imprecise method of judging how healthy you think your meal is. The eatery community will then judge the meal themselves in the fit or fat menu. Now all this imprecision leads to some pretty precise stats. You have a meter that indicates how healthy your habits are thus far. You get a weekly progress meter, best meal of this week, worst meal of the week, place insight on where you've been eating and eventually weekly roll-ups. Now the app is extremely simple to use and makes keeping track of meals actually pretty fun. 
Fit or Fat is the new HotOrNot.com. I spent about 10 minutes in that menu alone today, and I really think it comes down to how fun it is to drag and drop features. The only issue I see is the fact that foodies fight all the time about what defines healthy. I mean, the three things I don't discuss with friends are religion, politics, and food. So you're at the whim of their theories. Luckily, the eatery is a true democracy, so in theory, the input of the crazies who think a bag of candy is healthy will be negated. I also couldn't figure out a way to remove auto-geotagging food at the nearest restaurant. A small issue fixable with an update, or maybe you guys could leave a comment and let me know how to do it, because I just couldn't figure it out. All that said, I am calling the eatery a fit. Yes, download it. Let me know what you think, comment below, hit us up on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, and more importantly, enjoy what you eat.